GIA Automotive 2003 Mercedes CLK 320 same setup for uh, other E-Class models uh, above 99 and to, to 2003 I think um, so lower control arm you have the spring wedged in between there with the shock in the way um, lower ball joint goes in through the hole on the bottom here it is here that's the ball joint there um, 16 millimeter to remove the the bolt that goes through the through the lower shock that goes in through here here's where the spring sits make sure when you install it back you see the groove over there the indentation that's where this goes here the indentation make sure you, you make sure it's sitting there correctly so common issue on this car this model here it's uh if it's too low to the ground already because you need better shocks um, it will smack on this part here that is the most uh, weakest point here's another weak point here imagine this smacking on the ground it's gonna break off from the weld from all the, from the from the weld here so this is what happened um, and this is one from the junkyard that is intact but it's not in better shape if you see here it's it's solid it's solid but you see it's rusting already it's rusting through so this is a common issue for the e30 the the e320s um, so then the bolts that go on onto the to the lower frame are uh, 15 star like this one here or like this one here is what I this was my setup here I used a swivel and it's a T55 um, to remove those uh, long bolts that go through here and then when there's a nut on the back of it that you have to remove first it's a 21 millimeter and for the one that's over here that was hard you can't get a socket on there I just did it old school with a regular 21 millimeter and uh, broke it loose and just went a quarter at a turn until the nut came off and then after you get everything loosened up make sure you take the nut off from the top that's the 22 millimeter for the ball joint nut on the top and then hit it right here hit it right here and the vibration will knock it knock it loose and you'll be able to get it out so uh, as you can see here this was already replaced at one point this was a junkyard part um, just a really bad pothole is what knocked it out so um, the sway bar the sway bar that is connected to this lower control arm is a 13 millimeter and uh, yeah so that that's that's all you got to do so the same same way when you put it back on you're gonna start with the ball joint first hook it up onto the ball joint here with here there And then you go up here and connect the rest those long bolts hook it up to the to the body of the car all right thank you for watching uh, like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys on the next video